Hey everybody, it is Margaret and I'm here with a garage sale haul. Oh my gosh, my cat. <laughs> but hi, yes, I, uh, I'm a little late, right? I was going to put this on at 2.30 and then everything happens at once, right? Yeah. So I'm super happy to see everybody here. Hello, thanks for waiting for a second. Um, and the crazy crisis and we wait as Margaret hides all the chocolate and cookie wrappers. No. Nope. <laughs> I've been really good today. We went to this place to get donuts and I didn't have any donuts. So I posted that and somebody said, that's April Fool's, right? No, nope, it wasn't April Fool's. <laughs> so let me say, hey, everybody. Look, I was in such a rush. I was like, <laughs> and now I'm looking at myself. You remember that Drew Carey show and that lady Mimi? That's how I feel like my, ma my makeup looks right now. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah. Kind of nuts. So I see Angie's here and going on grumpy. Hello, hello. Hi, Jamie and Tori to Crazy Card. Hello. And let's see, Jamie. I know now it's talking, talking, people talking. Hello, hello. Hill Billy Pearl and Bobby Moons, Melissa and Stacy Nancy, Cheap Kate Sales Health. Hi, John. And oh my gosh, Greg the Valley Pickers here. Hi, Claire. Saint Girl. Hello, Rose. Oh wow, lots of people here. And Nishana. Hello, Nancy. Okay, so. I wasn't going to go out today. It's one of those days, which is not a good day for a problem, a person who has a problem. Gosh, I can't get situated. My chair keeps banging into my thing over here. Um, so yeah, it's not a good thing to have happen when you've got a problem with wanting to go buy stuff. Um, to, to have one of those days where you tell yourself, I'm not going to go out today. And then you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to go. I got up this morning like, okay, let's just go. Uh, and then you find all this really cool stuff. So, yeah, I got to grab this cat real quick because she's chewing on some tape over here. It's going to make me crazy. Here, Mimi. Say hi. Mimi's going to go real fast. Say bye, Mimi. Okay. Mimi's going out. Hang on. Sorry, I had to kick Mimi out. Okay, so um, Wendy says, I just posted my jewelry finds. Awesome, did you um, post it in the jewelry lovers group? Because I'll go see. Uh, hey, Silk, hello, hello. Uh, okay, so, man, okay, we're gonna do this. It's gonna happen. So I did, I woke up this morning and thought, okay, I'll go out. Um, and I just talked to the guys and we're like, hey, why don't we go, like we all go, because the guys don't normally come with me. So let's go get breakfast, let's go hit some garage sales, just kind of keep it easy peasy. <sighs> I need to breathe. <sighs> so we hit a couple on the way to get breakfast and then you know me, I get out early, like seven o'clock. Um, so we hit a couple, it was like eight or so, and then on the way home we hit some more, and it was like 9.30. And by then, that's normally when I'm wrapping it up and bringing it home, usually around 10 o'clock. And the stuff that I found, the jewelry that I posted some of, I, I got in the car and I looked at the clock and it was 9.30. And I said to Randy, I cannot believe that this was all still there. Because it was a community garage sale, so like this, and it was a nicer neighborhood that I never normally, I never normally go to. I don't usually go to, so I was just in shock that it was still there. So anyway, I'm going to show you all the stuff I picked up, and we'll just go from there. So first up, I got this for three bucks, and I'm going to use this. If you're in the jewelry lovers group, I'm going to use this. I think. To try to sell some lots on like because it's got this stuff I can hang earrings and stuff on um, to kind of bring some interest into the lots when I finally start making lots of jewelry to sell I know Greg says oh it's snowed here it's too far north you you got to move south <laughs> you got to move south dude okay and I'm sorry if I missed you in the group oh hey Bonnie's there hi hi um so yeah okay and then this lady had the lady that I bought that from also had this and I was like okay I'll buy that it was a buck and then I was like I was telling her oh I think I'm gonna use that to sell jewelry on she's like oh wait I've got some stuff in the garage I used to sell owl something it was like charms or something like that um, and so she had some other stuff for me so there was two more of those like if I want to do lots of jewelry those will come in handy and then this which I wasn't sure about. Hang on, I'm crinkling this bag up real good. So yeah, I wasn't sure I really wanted it, but then I thought, well, maybe I might, if I do like jewelry lots, it might come in handy. So I think it was like two bucks. I spent six bucks with her, so. And then I got this for, for fun. Look, Frozen Smiles. 
you can make frozen tea and then put them in your drinks. That'll be fun for the summer. But you know what you can also do is make gummies. Like I've made the boys like gummies with fruit juice and stuff. Origami owl, that's it, Doris. So yeah, I'm like, we can make some gummies that are like dangerous. <laughs> um, so yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> so that'll be good. So next, I'm trying to decide which, which direction I want to go first. So that was one garage sale. Um, I'm trying to save the jewelry for last. So we went next door, literally next door to this lady that I got that stuff from. And it was like this guy, he was like a Vietnam vet. He had been in the Coast Guard. He'd been in like military stuff. And he had the most amazing things. And he was selling them dirt cheap. And the, the boys, when they would pick stuff up, he was like, you just take that, son. You just take that, son. And there was like the boys were walking out with like all this stuff that the guy just gave them. Um, I'm not sure what somebody said gross to in there. But okay, whatever's gross. Okay. So let me show you what I got for 50 I spent $50 with him. And part of it was the jewelry. 25 bucks was this tray of jewelry and stuff. Um, but let me show you what else I got first. I'm reaching into the box. <laughs> What's a gross story? So when I first walked up, laying on the ground were all these like wooden bowls, which I thought were cool. So there's this one. And I didn't look up prices for most of this stuff, so I won't be able to tell you. And then this little wooden bowl. And then another wooden bowl like that. I just thought they were really cool. I did. And so I picked them up. I liked this one that had all the different types of wood. Um, so, again, I don't know the prices on them. I just thought they were, oh, the frozen teeth. <laughs> That's for fun. The gummies are going to be really fun. And then there were these wooden spoons, like with this bird duck thing. This one's got a deer, maybe, wooden spoon. So those were fun. Um, you know, I, I figured I would take a, a chance on them. And then this was really cool. It's a carved walnut shell. So again, I didn't look it up because I was so focused on the jewelry. But yeah, there was this carved walnut. And do I think do is there a market for carved walnut shells? I don't know. But I got it. So <laughs> all right, so there's that. And then I'm reaching in. We bought three chess sets from him. Because I guess he had a lot of chess sets. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like a muffin. So this one, we're probably gonna keep this one because it my my guys play chess. And it's got the numbers and letters so they can learn the coordinate grid. Um, hey, Carol's Gift Shop. I love the duck spoon, Nancy says. And then this is what the pieces look like inside this chess set. But ch if I wanted to sell it, it would probably do well. Chess sets, if you've got a nice chess set, it, it can sell for, for good money. So that this one will probably end up keeping like that. Um, I need to make some space. So 50 bucks. So I guess the rest of this stuff was... About tw 25 bucks. Hi, Carla. This one, oh, this one he did say was 10. So, uh, what's that? Yep, go ahead. <laughs> Close the door so Mimi doesn't get back. <laughs> okay. Um, so, this is, you know, this was 10 bucks of the 50. This is a, another chess set. Let me open, see if I can open the top of it without spilling it out. Okay, so this is the other chess set. Let me bring it up close. That's what the board looks like. And, oh my gosh, it's heavy. It's super duper heavy. Okay, and then the pieces are in the drawer. Each drawer. Let me see if I can set it down. Let me get the pieces for you to show you without knocking them all out. Oh, of course. I don't know. I'm just overly excited, so I need to just calm, calm down. I need to slow my roll. All right, so here's the drawer. They pull out, and they have all the pieces that look like this. I, I think there's some sort of plastic. My mom's like, you might want to double check and make sure they're not ivory, but I don't think they are. I think they are some kind of resin is what I'm thinking. I almost knocked myself out, Carla says. That's right. So those are the white pieces. Let me see if I can get the other ones out. Are they cool, Angie? And then so like this is the dark, you know, because it's white and black. They're not exactly black, but they're a little bit darker. So I I think there's some kind of like resin is what, what my guess is, you know, because they feel plasticky. 
but yeah. So it's really awesome. I'm not gonna be able to put this back. I'm gonna have to set it on the floor for a second. Just got a Carla bracelet today. Wendy says, oh, did you? <laughs> okay, let me close this. Hang on, I'm gonna set this down real fast. So I was going back and forth about whether or not to keep that one, and Randy's like, no, we've gotta sell them, Mark. We can't keep keeping everything. Um, all right, let me go into the chat real fast. Let's see what everyone's saying. Isn't it cool? Angie's saying, keep it, keep it. Um, Melissa says, we had the same set when I was young. Awesome. Anybody remember playing battle chess? No. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, the, the um, chess set, and it folds up, and it's got the little handles to carry it with. Um, cool, 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 cool. All right, so yeah, that one, I, again, I didn't get a chance to look it up. Normally, when I do haul videos, I like to have everything looked up. But um, yeah, anyway, we've got so many chess sets here at home. We've got a Pirates of the Caribbean chess. We have Harry Potter chess. We've got another big, really nice chess set. We've got like four already, and then we're going to keep that one. That's back here. So that's like five chess sets in our house. Um, yeah, so that one will probably get sold, as, even though it's super awesome. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so then also within that, again, this part is the 25 bucks. Um, I picked up this. And it, you know, it's, you can drill it into the wall. It's got these hooks and this rising sun. I just thought it was cool. I think it's, I don't know. I mean, it's got a pewter look to it, but I'm not sure that it is. I mean, it might be. The Pirates chess set must be cool. It is. It is. Pirates of the Caribbean chess set. Um, one for each and one for the cat. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And then... Um, he, he said uh, the Bibles were being thrown in. So he's just like, yeah, those are free for a good home. They were just, they must have really been, been just downsizing. So they got some Bibles. Tell my husband I'm going to keep it until April Fool's. <laughs> yeah, he, would, he wouldn't be just pleased about that. And there were some little snakes. This is, again, one of those things the boys picked up. And he was like, you just, you just keep that. You just keep that little card. You just keep that, son. You just keep that. And then there's another chess set. This one has got this um, like stone um, board where it's polished. It's like polished off on certain ones. And then the box, oh, oh gosh, how did they open it? There was like a trick to opening the pieces. Oh gosh, now I can't open it. <laughs> I, um, look, look, there's like a trick to it, trying to get the box open. Ah, I did it. I did it. <laughs> so these are little, um, you know, just little marbly pieces to go with it for that chess set. So that's cool. Let's try and get this thing closed again. How did that work? There we go. Look, you have to unlock the box with a little thing to get it open. And if it's not open, like, you can't get it back closed. Okay, there, there. Okay. So that was... And the other part of the 25 um, bucks, okay? So the rest of this stuff that's in here was the other 25. That made the 50 bucks. And uh, I'm going to wait. <laughs> Hang on one second. Hi, Jason. Hello, everybody. Um, how convenient a chessboard slash trivet. That's right. Um Next, you better bring the boys the next time and tell them what to pick up. Pick up that. Get that. And then just wait for him to say, you just keep up. You just keep, go ahead and keep that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go through that box in just a second. <laughs> I'm going to tease it out a little more. But I am going to show you this. We went in that same community garage sale. Um, this, you know, it, when I saw it, I thought, oh, it's just like going to be full of like tools and stuff. But it's not. It was marked 10 bucks. Uh but I got them to sell it to us for eight. And I'm just gonna show you the drawers. I'll pull them out one at a time and show you what's in the drawers. So this one has got just like little beads in it. That's cool. This one is really nice. This one has got some garnet beads. Okay, and he had nicely labeled, right? Um, and I actually have a, a nice strand of garnet beads like this that were my grandmother's. So garnet beads. Then there's some like wood carving beads and some bone and ivory you can see in there. I made a little video I put up on um, Instagram 
but I need to find out, what I need to find out is, are they, um, the difference between knowing something is bone and knowing something is ivory. So, because you gotta be really careful about um, what you can sell and, and all of that. So, there's a lot of that. And then there's a lot of, like, see here, this is like rough amber that's not polished. There's more, more coming, but it looked like maybe it was once a, a necklace with the garnet beads and like rough um, amber. Some rough is not the word I'm looking for, um, but, but not polished. Angie says, I've sold garnet beads. Awesome. Okay, good. That's good to know. Okay, so then here we have um, a bunch of like unpolished amber beads. Well, that's what I believe them to be, anyway. And then this big thing, which I also think is, I also think this is, I know it looks like a big piece of something, but I think this is a piece of amber but just not, yeah, raw, like a big chunk of it that hasn't been finished down, you know, and polished up to be pretty like this. So this one is even marked, Amber. Okay, bone has marrow in it. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. <laughs> so there's little bits, you know, there's little bits of Amber, and then this, it was in the Amber drawer, but I don't think it's Amber, because see the circles in it? I, I don't think that's Amber, for sure. I, hmm. So I'll have to find out what this big bead is, and yeah, and I'll, I'll, again, I'll have to look into it a little bit more. Ivory has what is called Schrager lines, right? Yeah, cross-hatch design that goes completely through the ivory. Bone doesn't have those lines. Test it. There we go. Yes. Okay, so that will be um, looked into further, and then here, this one is marked Bone. Uh, and my son saw this and he was like, this is so cool. Um, so this is, it's still labeled original, here we go, original shark bone. And it's like a bracelet made from shark bone, which I don't know if I can even sell. Butterscotch amber. I love the yellow amber. That's what Hannah Mama Loves Trading says. I would have a jeweler look at it, one witch lady says. And then these all, these little picks. That could be for, I guess, I'm guessing hair. They're all tied together at the top, but I'm guessing to do the hair. I think that's what those are for. Um, and again, I need to go through and see like which is bone and which is amber. So here's this piece like so. And I'm guessing there's a pin in there somewhere that for it to go through like that. Yeah. I, yeah, I just have to find, Angie says, I love the shark bone bracelet. I just have to find out, can I sell it? I don't know. If not, I'm just like, cool. These are toothpicks. <laughs> I don't know. Keep it, right? And then there, there is a ring, a shark bone ring to match the bracelet. So here's this, and it's labeled original shark bone. However, that looks like a whale, <laughs> right? Um... And then again, there's still there's a bunch more pieces like so, and this which I think is a cigarette holder. I think you would stick the cigarette in that end or the or this end, one or the other. I think it's a cigarette holder. Is amber worth good money? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Awesome buy, especially for eight bucks, right? And I've only gone through. Look, that's it so far, right here. Yeah. Okay. So then again. Here, amber can be worth very good money depending on the grade. Yeah, and my mom loves it, so it was very tempting. I told her about it, but she may come after it and want to keep it. This was all at this this at a garage sale, and then here just a bunch more of like beads, bone or ivory. I've got a cigarette holder is likely to be celluloid. I don't know. I I can see the the grain in it. You know what I mean? Yep. Please quickly. Okay, that's why. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yeah. So I'll take a, a closer picture to show in the group, um, because I they're not they're not celluloid. They're like, no, like I can feel they're, yeah, they're like, yeah, they're bone or something. I yeah. Let me see if I can click them. I don't know if that makes any any difference to you. Anyway, so there's all of that. Um, yeah, okay. I do not see why you couldn't sell them. They're tagged already. Somebody sold them before you. Yeah, I mean, but just there's laws and regulations, and I just need to make sure. Yeah, as far as ivory goes, it has to be 
before it has to be ivory that was produced before a certain time and then even then you have to have I think you have to have like crazy documentation and stuff like and then on eBay even to sell things that are bone they want to know like where, what country it came from what animal it came from what um, yeah so it might be kind of tricky it might be something that just ends up being something we have around the house forever you know but it was just really cool you know pre-1970 40 pre-1947 in the uk yeah it's something like that here too okay and then this one's marked rhinestones it's just got loose rhinestones there was a clip-on earring in there um ivory that is post-1989 can it be sold in the states as far as i know bonnie says yeah so again these are just some different rhinestones there were there was one cufflink. Look how awesome this cufflink is. I wish the mate was there. There was one buttonhole that matched it, but no, they're not there. The mates aren't there. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> Next up is this one is glass beads faceted. So like that. And I need to find out like because this might be jet, I, and I have to find out like how to tell the difference. I know it's like a, a coal-based something, but I don't know. I'm sitting here sniffing it. Um, yeah, because I wouldn't want to sell it just as like regular glass because jet can go for, for some good money. So there's that to, to play with. <laughs> Let's see. Show some love. 77. Oh, good. Yeah, hit the thumbs up button. Um, Jenny says we have lots of ivory from our time in Alaska in the 50s, but would never sell it even if it were legal. Yeah. Okay. And then here is a brooch. It's missing the stone or whatever was in the front, but I believe it to be pretty old based on the clasp, like so, um, because it doesn't have the kind of catches that we have now. And there's a, a website that's got like a dating. I can't think of words right now because I get excited. But the, the, that you where you can date the different um, clasps and ages. Hang on. Boys, turn that down. I'm not sure they can hear me. It's so loud. <laughs> anyway, so there's that. Hey, Mario. It's so loud. Hang on. I'm going to mute me one second and holler at my kids. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, they turned it down as soon as I hit mute. <laughs> Okay, it looks like brass stamping jewelry, Nishana says. Yeah, right? It does look like rough, roughly made, you know. It's pretty cool, though. All right, and then, again, some of these are just broken pieces, but it will, I, I don't know. I mean, it still might do okay because somebody might like the, the look of it and want to finish it off. So that's pretty cool. Again, the stone's missing, but it looks cool. <laughs> This one, same thing. It looks really awesome, but it's, you know, whatever was hanging from here is gone, long gone. But isn't it cool looking? So I still think somebody's going to want it, right? Isn't it neat? <laughs> I just can't believe, I mean, in this one, we were we found after we had breakfast, it was probably close to 10 o'clock for this stuff. My nose is itching. So those would go into a steampunk lot, one which lady said. And then this, whoever this was, they kept everything. I mean, this is broken, but they kept the piece, like, on the pin back right there. So it's a broken butterfly, but it's it's still there. Jewelry makers would love that. And then, again, the rest of the stuff in here, again, it's just, like, broken bits, but they're cool bits, you know? <laughs> they're cool. All right, so, I mean, I just think this is cool. Hang on. You know, I like that a lot, but, again, the, the stone is missing, and... So I think somebody's going to see it and just be like, whoa, that's cool. Cool bits to play with, right? And then here we go. I haven't even gotten to, like, the jewelry, like, my big my big jewelry finds. We're just going to go through these drawers. This is Peking glass, it says. And so it's got all these beads in here. More, do it, is it really Peking glass? I don't know. Here's a little bit of green. This is glass. There's some holes in it. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. And then this is a what I think was a button that is broken. Like so. But it's still neat, right? 
I mean, my boy, we, when we got home, we had so much fun just like, we pulled all the drawers out of this thing. We're just like digging through it. Oh, look at that, look at this, look at that. That is, Angie's saying, leaving us in suspense. This one, that is the green with the holes. Do you, okay, this one. This one? You don't think that's jade. I think it's glass. Do you think it's jade? Jadeite? There was another little scaraby thing that, oh, Peking glass. This is the Peking glass. There was a little scarab, um, green scarab carved um, that James really wanted, so I let him keep it. I let them pick a bit, a bit out to keep, um, a few little bits. And so, you know. Okay, so next, this one says miscellaneous beads and cabs. Or I think maybe for like cabochons. So there's these beads. Aren't they cool? They're like, they remind me of peacocks or something. Woo! And I can't tell if they're clay or metal. And like, let me look closer. Like, it's almost like they're metal with, with clay smooshed in between. You know? It's really interesting. These beads are just, I'm gonna. Okay, there's those. And then some more of this. And peeking glass roses. <laughs> so yeah, I, I mean, when you look at it like this, you're like, oh, it's just a big mess of stuff. But then you start digging and you find like really cool little bits in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now we're on the last row of, uh, the last row of things. This one was labeled miscellaneous. But it had, I saw this and I was like, okay, I am pretty sure these are Bakelite buttons in the miscellaneous. Cool? I think so, right? They, they look like Bakelite buttons, don't they? I'll have to do a little more research. Bakelite or maybe Lucite. Again, these ones, these are some buttons or weird beads. And I don't know, it's just like a little treasure, like digging through <laughs> junk, treasure junk. Thank you, treasure. Here's a button. Look at this button. <laughs> it is a button there, like so. And then a porcelain watch face. It's cracked, but it's neat. A little porcelain watch face. And then more stuff. Okay, what about this one? So this, I was trying to tell the boys what I thought it was, and I was like, you know what? Now I can't think of what that's called. Where it's like the plastic... Is this celluloid? I can never keep it all straight. Um, anyway, so there's that. Yep. Yep, hit the like button. And I didn't even... Yeah, there's like a chain in there. There's all kinds of little bits of stuff. So <laughs> we had so much fun just like poking through all of this. Okay, then... Oh, there's teeth. There's some teeth in there. It's my week to find teeth. And if I, I found a tooth the other day, right? Let's see the teeth. Here we go. Celluloid. That's a tooth right there. What kind of tooth is that? Maybe that's a baby tooth. There's a little, another little tooth in there. A couple little teeth. If you see me go to start putting my hands on my mouth, make sure I stop. <laughs> all right, so buttons and watch faces. All going back. That's the miscellaneous drawer. Four more drawers, and then we'll look at the other jewelry stuff. Again with the teeth, right? This one was labeled glass beads miscellaneous round. So there's, okay, look at these beads. This was a, a necklace or a bracelet at one point. Pink with these, I don't know, it's like inset with this like golden metal color in there. Isn't that unusual? Super unusual. And then more just like beads. Some of them almost look like sea glass type frosted beads. I don't know, they're just, and then this one is glass. This is bizarre, okay? This is like a teeny little glass ball, right? And it's got a little hole in the bottom of it. My boy started messing with it, and then I realized it was glass. I was like, whoa, put that down, guys. I don't know if you can see. Like, it's really purpley. And the, when I'm looking at it in the, on the screen, it looks brown. But it, to me, it's, like, really purple. Very interesting. Okay. I'm, trying to, I'm running out of space for them. Then, orb, are the pink ones glass? Let's see. They, they're some kind of stone. They feel like a stone. Can you see that? They're real hard. 
Yeah, there's, I don't know. I mean, that's the thing. Like, but then what is this, what does that set into them? That's so bizarre to me. They're hard like stone, you know? Let me bang them together so you can hear. Can you hear that? Yeah. Um, I'm at a loss. I don't know how they managed, you know, what that, what it is in there, what they did. Anyway, they're cool. Anyway. Okay, pink opal? Question mark? I, I don't know. I was thinking maybe Murano glass beads with foil in them. There's a chance. I mean, it says glass beads. Maybe they are. There's, maybe they are. I'll have to look it up. I will look it up. I'm reminding myself, I'm going to say it out loud again. Murano glass beads with foil in them. Sometimes I come back when I can't remember what, what things are, and I'll <laughs> listen to what I'm saying that the chat is saying. No, not pink opal. No, I didn't think so, no. Okay, so here's some more. This one's labeled, ooh. Um, Millie Fiori beads, carnelian seed beads, Venetian beads. Like that. Carn, I just said carnelian, but carn seed beads. So here we go, and Millie Forini beads and Venetian beads, that would kind of lend that to be more of a, um, would, would maybe lend this to be more like a Murano glass bead. So that's a possibility, like that. Lots of fun beads in there. One is the pink bead. Is that the one you mean, like that? Carnival glass beads. You can see it better. There's a cool orange one. Anyway, yeah, art glass. They're different art glass beads, blown glass beads. They're really neat. Like here's some oblong ones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fun with these. My my son almost picked this piece. Can you see it? It's like purple iridescent. Like when you hold it up, when I hold it up to the light, it's purple, like glass. Look at it, it's so cool. Okay, whatever. <laughs> You're probably like, okay, yeah, whatever, a bunch of beads, who cares? <laughs> okay, and then here, we have another tray of bone, like so. Um, some bone bits and more kind of panels and picks and things like that. More bone. Looks like carnival glass, Jenny says. And then, okay, the last tray is empty. So, okay, that's it for these. Let's see if I can move this out of the way so I'll have plenty of room for the jewelry. Because <laughs> that's why we're here. Well, that's not the only reason, but that was one of the big reasons. That was the big reason. Okay, this, so that, all of that was eight bucks. Let me put that dirty old thing over there. My hands are filthy now. Okay, let's take that out. Okay, so the rest of this... Here, this was all 25 bucks. Except for this. Hang on. This came from a different garage sale. <laughs> I got this at a different garage sale. So that was 50 cents. It's a fishing, a fish that's fishing, which is kind of strange, but it's an ornament. And then this was a, a dollar at a, a different garage sale that we went to. So it's some old glasses. They're in really good condition for their age. So those were. A dollar and again I know I normally look stuff up to have for you guys but I didn't have time today we've been really really busy the container is worth eight bucks totally okay so here comes the rest of the stuff here was another snake one of those you just go ahead and keep that son <laughs> okay I gotta take a sip now but I'll let you look at this while I take a sip of water this this I got there Okay, so this was part of the 25 bucks in the tray. This really cool wooden ornament of a hot air balloon. And again, I have no idea what I'm gonna charge for it. Are the rims gold? See, that's, I'm gonna check. Okay, let me check right now, because I was showing Randy, and I told him, you know, a lot of times they could be gold or gold filled, and then I, could, I told him I could see some writing in the nose part right there, and I, I meant to look, and I never did. And so now I'll look right now. How about that? <laughs> so here we go. It'll be marked. Yeah, I saw the mark on there. I just didn't get a chance. It says full view, one tenth, tw 12 karat gold filled. So it's F U L and then V U E, full view. Yeah. 
but they're in really good condition. So I, and again, I, I apologize. I didn't look everything up. I didn't have time. <laughs> balloon Fiesta stuff is good inventory. Awesome. And you know, he had some other hot air balloon stuff that I, I was just getting kind of like what they call junk drunk. I was getting so giddy at all the stuff I was finding. And then I was like, maybe I should go back for more. And Randy's like, no, no, no. You need to leave things for other people. I'm like, no, <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> no, 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 no. They, they, it's been sitting there all day. It's like 930 and it's still sitting there. <laughs> okay. Angie says, I like this way of doing it, just showing and moving on. Awesome. Hi, hi. How do I message Margaret? You can message me um, either on my email address, um, texasgaltreasures at gmail.com, or on Facebook, um, either through my Texas Gal page or through just send it to me and I'll, it'll go to my uh, request. Yeah, take the boys with, leave Randy at home. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here's the rest. Um, I'm just going to go in order. As I go along. So again, randomly, there was more bone at this garage sale. Different garage sale than the other one that had all the other bone stuff. But this has some um, bone, like hook, brace, or necklace. Another one. Like I said, he this is the guy that was in the military Coast Guard. And then here's another one. So he traveled a lot, I gathered, and, got, and picked up just stuff from everywhere. So here's a feather like bone. And again, I have to be really careful about how to sell it. Here's another one. And then this one was pretty heavy. So I think it might be a tooth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one's like a tooth from something. So again, if I can't sell it, it'll just we'll just end up having a bone and ivory collection in our family. No more food unboxings for Randy Kishana says. Hawaiian. Melissa says, okay, so there's that. Business is dog eat dog, Randy. That's right. He's too nice. He really is. Okay, then we got a rattlesnake rattle. I'll take it out and show you. <laughs> Welcome to Texas, y'all. <laughs> you you two can buy a rattlesnake rattle. I don't know if I can make it rattle for you. No, okay. I can't. <laughs> All right, rattlesnake rattle there. Um, this one we're going to keep. Because we camp a lot. And I think, too, like we were talking to him, like, yeah, the boys are scouts, and we go camping a lot. And they had a lot of stuff that was camping. And we got, oh, I didn't have those, these in here, but he had some mag light flashlights that we're keeping, which are also in there in the other room that was within that 50 bucks that we spent. So let's see. What's, ooh, that one won't fit in the tooth mold, though. <laughs> okay, and then the lady that, you know, she was really sweet. I think she knew... You know, like I posted the picture and somebody said, oh, these people, obviously, they don't know what they've got. Well, when I was getting this, you know, she was telling me how much it was. She was pulling stuff out and was like, okay, this I got in Venice, Margaret. You know, she didn't call me Margaret. She's like, I got this in Venice. And there's some other Murano glass in here. She's like, I got that in Italy. So she knew what it was. I mean, these don't feel like glass, but she said she got it in Venice. I mean, they're, they may be. Okay. So I'll have to look that up. That's the class. Really cool. Really pretty. Ooh, they're saying, ooh, about the, uh, can you sell bone on Etsy? I have sold bone on Etsy. Yeah. And then this is a really cool necklace. It took, Randy actually figured out how to do the closure on it. So here is the glass pendant. And then it's got these green, they look like a green turquoise, but I don't know. They might be like a dyed how light I have to get a closer look in there um, and then some other faceted beads but then this is the closure right it's a wire wrapped barbell type of thing so that's the closure in the back isn't that unusual it's so pretty so there's that yes that necklace is glass it's really pretty this one I see that's the thing like I need to like this yeah okay I know it's a glass it's shiny it's I guess that's my perception is that it's going to look more like this, where it's shiny and, and all of that. So this one, you say, is glass. Okay. Right? <laughs> okay, so there's that. Is that what you're saying, and Bonnie? I think that's what you're saying. Okay, and then this was the piece that when I saw it, um, I grabbed the whole tray. Because as soon as I saw this piece, I just like, okay, <laughs> I'll take it all. I'll dig through it later. 
and um, I just asked her, you know, for a price for the whole tray. So there's this piece of amber set in sterling silver, and then it's on this silver necklace. And I need to look closer for a mark on there because there might be like a maker's mark on it because another piece that I have has a maker's mark. There's quite a bit of um, Native American style Southwest jewelry. So this is the piece, my mom collects amber, she loves it. So this was the piece that Randy was like, don't tell your mom or she's gonna want it and you're gonna give it to her. <laughs> like, I couldn't help it, I told her. So, uh, let's see, look at the loop attached to the pendant itself. Yeah, I see a little mark in there. Do y'all want me to look? I always feel bad looking through the loop, like I'm being rude, like I'm whispering or something to somebody in front of you. <laughs> you know, and I don't wanna be rude, but I guess you wanna know, right? Oh, well, there goes the lid for that. Yeah, isn't it cool? And the chain looks like they're made to look like little leaves or feathers or something. It's really neat. It's, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna peek. <laughs> Mother's Day is soon. That's right. <laughs> Don't be rude. Go look. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna look. I see a mark right there. It. Oh my gosh! I can't even make it out. There's a symbol. I'll have to take I'll have to take a close up picture to share in the group. I might have to brighten it up a, a bit because there's like a symbol and then it says 925 next to the little symbol. I cannot at all. A there's an A. A D. So on this side there's an A D initials A D. I know we were looking up Bonnie was helping me earlier too in the jewelry group looking up Native American uh, marks cuz one of the pieces is marked so that might also be, that's 925, and then there's, it almost looks like a fleur de lis and a, somebody's profile. I'm going to have to get a, a closer up look. But yeah, there's on this side, there's like, it looks like an upside down fleur de lis and a, a face profiled. Um, and then on the other side, it's marked A, what did I say? What A something. AD, is that what I said? AD. Okay, so I'll I'll get a closer look at that in a picture because if it's a known maker, then that just can make the price go up, right? Your mom, give her a nice surprise for your birthday. Oh, she did give me a nice surprise for my birthday. She gave me my early birthday present. That's true. All right, so we'll see. <laughs> my mom's good to me. She is. We've had our ups and downs over the years. That sounds either Belgian or maybe Dutch. I'd have to see it. Okay, cool. See, you guys, if you're not in the jewelry lovers group, you need to get over there because we all help each other out. It's very cool. All right, so then there's this big, long necklace. This lady likes Southwest jewelry. Let's just put it that way. So there was this one, and it was not magnetic, but I didn't – it was it was all tangled up, so Randy was untangling it, detangling it, so I didn't get a chance to peek at it or anything. But it wasn't magnetic. So there's this, yep. And I don't know if Christine's in here. Christine, the morning, are you in here? <laughs> Jason, talk to me about you. Uh, he, he wants to get her on. So here's another piece of amber that was in there. Okay, so this is I didn't see. So basically, this necklace was what I saw, and then there's like a big thing like this. I saw this and this, and then that's what made me grab it and just say. Okay, how much for everything? So the rest of it was all a surprise. I didn't look at it until I got home, and we started digging it. I tried to find the Jewelry Lovers group, but there were so many. Uh, I'll have to see if I can link it down below, but it's called Jewel. There's only one L because we're not UK jewelry, <laughs> but you're welcome to come. Um, so there's one L for our Jewelry Lovers group, Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. It's a little silver, it looks like a poo bear, right? It looks like poo in a, a piece of amber right there on the side. So again, that's smart. Oh, there's a mark on there too. Yes, Bonnie is definitely a treasure to the group. She's, this is also marked. I can barely read what it is though. So I'll have to take a picture of it and see um, what that mark might be. Again, amber can sell pretty well. So I, I've sold some really nice pieces for some good money. And then check out this one. I didn't see this one either. So here's another silver and amber piece with a sun dangling around this circle. Isn't that so cool? There we go. 
Gina, Gianna, I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right. I have some Murano glass bead necklaces mark RL, not RL Florin, any ideas. Uh, drop it into the group because then everybody can see it and help you out for sure. Bear and Amber Honey, isn't that cute? Okay, so this one, I mean, I know it's silver, but I'm just kind of peeking to see if I see a mark on there. That says 925 on the edge on the top. But I don't see a maker's mark. But isn't it cool? I've never seen one quite like this. So that's cool. It's very mystical. <laughs> and then this is magnetic earrings, but yeah, they're not there. Okay, now I'm moving into the next section. So then we had a watch, like so. Hmm. Gina, okay. And then another watch. This one says TT. I, I it's a quartz movement. I don't know anything about anything else about it. So there's that. What's underneath? What does it say down there? Hi, Vicky. Japan movement. So Japan movement on that one. You never know. There is another watch in here, though, that I think is going to be worth some money. So this is a watch that at first glance, I probably would have been like, oh, I've got a bazillion watches that look like that. But this one is from a brand called um, Peyote Bird Santa Fe. And if you look up their stuff, it can go for pretty good money. So, and then on top of it, this watch band is sterling silver. So all of this, all of this is silver. All of this is silver. It's all marked um, sterling silver. So we looked it up and we couldn't find another one like it that had a, um, I'm looking at, that was a spectacular bracelet. Did I miss it? What was the... Okay, I missed it. Okay. They must be talking in the group. So anyway, the um, I don't know. I'm going to probably put a pretty good price on this because the peyote bird watches that I did find can be really um, pricey. So I, I don't know exactly yet what I'm going to do with price this one at. Excuse me, price this one at. Um, but like I say, it is sterling silver and yeah. I'm like, what's so funny? <laughs> I'm looking in the chat. Okay, let me scroll back. Somebody's somebody said something funny. Okay. Been here since the beginning, but cannot get my comment to work. Vicky says, oh no. Okay, they're talking about a bracelet. Used to live in Katie. Gina says, yes. Hi, Chicago Crown Nestler. Oh, oh, good. He's had five sales in six days of March. That's awesome. Okay. Remember the experiment cuff bracelet. Okay, yeah, okay. Make sure the watch runs and keep time and keeps time because it costs a bunch to have it repaired if it doesn't. Oh, that's a good tip. Okay. So I'll have to get a battery for it and make sure it's working and all that. So that one might end up being a good, you know, Randy, my husband was like, you need to put at least a hundred bucks on that. So I don't know. So we'll see. <laughs> it just kind of depends. I'm moving next door to Margaret to stalk her garage sales one, which lady says. <laughs> okay. So this was also in there. And at first I thought this was, at first I thought this was like polymer clay, but I'm looking at it right now. I know you can't see it through the light. I don't have a flashlight, but like when I hold it up to the light, I can see through it like blue coming. Gosh, I need a flashlight. Where's my phone? I can see the light coming through it. Um, so that is telling me that is it is glass too because she did say Like it was she did say it was glass. I guess I should believe her since it's her stuff, right? The lady that I bought it from okay turn that off. I'm trying to get my flashlight going so I could show you no That's the phone Margaret <laughs> wrong button All right, let's see if we can do this without me. Sh I'm gonna shine it right and see that okay there You can see it see how you see that dark kind of like indigo blue color like that's what I'm seeing when I shine when I hold it up to the light Cool, right? Okay. Looks like Millifiori. Is that the right spelling? Okay, cool. Profile pick for the jewelry group of blue stone and diamond necklace. Yeah, yeah, it's the Hope Diamond. I was like, let's make it big. <laughs> so, and then this part is marked sterling silver on here, on that. So, this is this necklace. Very cool. And apologies if I missed um, your, your. Did you look to see if the watch needs a battery? I didn't look to see. Do you think it might be a wind-up one? I'm guessing it needs one. Swiss movement. It says 925 silver Swiss, Swiss movement. Let me see if it winds. Is that what you're suggesting? That I, I think that's what you're suggesting. 
I'm gonna try it. No, it's not. No, I don't think. I don't know. Okay, I haven't had a chance. We just kind of got it home. <laughs> Went at it, right? Could be a wind up. Okay, I'll me I'll mess with it some more and see. Then we've got another watch band. Hello, Susan and SoCal. Hello, hello. All right, so I'll, yeah, I'll find out about that. Be if it's another um, if it's a wind up. So then this is another one. This is another one the lady pulled out and was like, I got this. This is Murano glass. So there's this Murano glass. She says she got it when she was in Italy. And it's even marked on the back. Very pretty. Shake it. Just bang on it. Bang on it a little bit and see if it works. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Let's see. A battery watch doesn't allow for movement of the knob. Let me look at it again. Is the knob, if it's in... Yeah, it's it's moving when I have it poked in. I'm gonna see. I'm winding it a little bit and see if it's gonna. I hear nothing. Okay. <laughs> Nishana says I'm dying. Uh oh. Why? All right. So here's another one. Again, this was all 25 bucks for this stuff. Um, and then this was another piece. I saw this was I couldn't miss it. Right. This big one, when I saw the amber, and then this was in there, and I was like, wow, yeah. Swiss movement sometimes has to be shaken if it's older. Okay, I thought you were joking. I told you I don't know anything about watches. But look at the size of this this one, right? It's ginormous. So somebody is going to love this. Giant, like, what would you say? Abalone, like, oyster shell uh, necklace. Isn't it a headlight? It looks like a headlight. <laughs> but it's so cool and then it's got like a button closure in the back so cool right right somebody's gonna love it somebody's gonna it's like as big as my head <laughs> there's that okay isn't it that's a statement piece <laughs> yes okay let's see okay then there was a little cuff this is a silver little cuff bracelet and we've got another glass she really had fun in Italy. <laughs> there we go. Another glass pendant. If it's a wind-up, you can also feel some tension and a slight sound when it's winding. All right, let's see. Okay, let me shake it like you said. I'm shaking it. I don't hear anything. I don't think it's a wind-up. I don't know. Unless somebody overwound it. Then it's going to be worth like silver scrap, right? Okay. <laughs> Next up, this one is like somebody, like a, one of those, it's almost like a Scrabble tile type of thing. But what do you think that is? You think those are dogwood? You think that's a dogwood tree? Angie, you would know. Help me out. Is that a dogwood? Okay, so there's this necklace. It's really cute though, on this ribbon. And then we have some. Pins, it's not a self-winding watch. Those are the ones that run on movement. Okay, so there's this pin like that. There's a couple of these, like face pins. Here's another one. It's kind of creepy with one eye closed and the other one's crying. Have you ever tried to do that? No. <laughs> Dogwood, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then here's another one, like a little mime clown. Like the, um... Like the French clowns, right? Because they had the little caps on their head like that. Yeah. There's that. And then there's another face one, like so. Now I wish, oh I wish, how I wish there was a full set of these. Look at this. So this is this jack-o'-lantern, and it's like a button back, right? Isn't that what that is? Like you would put it in like where your buttons were. Isn't that cool? I mean, I really this there's only one of these. And his teeth, look, you can see his teeth are actually like serrated. Can you see that? Isn't that cool? I just love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> can you hear them? They just like put on Mr. Baseman on full blast. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like a, a button thing. But there's only one of them. I think it's so awesome. I think I might just have to keep it. <laughs> we'll just put him back there. We'll just put him back there. You know what? Maybe Groucho can wear him because Groucho only has one button. I think I'm going to do that. He's, he's going to go on Groucho's button. Yeah, Vintage Halloween does do well, but that one's going on Groucho's button. I keep decorating Groucho with all my treasures, so he's going to fall over one of these days. <laughs> okay, so then there's this little silver 
bracelet. There's a ton of silver in here. So th there's this silver bracelet. There's some cuff links. These are really cool. So there's these cufflinks in there. And cufflinks, I usually, I mean, if they're just kind of boring cufflinks, I start them out at like $9.99, $11.99. But I've sold them on upwards to a lot of money. Uh, these have no markings at all. So there's those. And then there's this cross. Hi. I love you. What are you doing? Uh, no, well, not really like me here with them. Not right now. Go, go play out there for a minute, baby. I'm almost done. Is Daddy back home? Okay, go play out there for a minute, please. I'm live. Just so you know. <laughs> Love you. Bye. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, little cross. It's kind of hammered down. I think it's supposed to look that way. Where'd my magnet go? <laughs> Kids happen. That's right. Well, there's. I've shown you guys. There's like toys I keep only in here that I've, I have found at garage sales and stuff because my husband doesn't want me to give them any more toys. But I'm like, it's they're just in here. So like if they're in here playing with them while I'm working, it doesn't count because they're in here. So yeah. All right, so there's this one. It's not magnetic, but uh, my gut tells me it's not really silver. I don't know. That's what my gut says. I'm gonna believe it for now. Sometimes the watch knob gets tight and difficult to turn. Be careful if you're trying to loosen it. Okay. I'll, do, I'll look at it more close and I'll find out. And then if I have to, I'll take it to a watch, a watch person. Okay. And then there's this one. It's missing some of the little pearly beads that were on it. And then these. Okay, here come my favorites. My favorite saying. You ready, Angie? I love selling these. I sell them for $20 all day long. <laughs> so I've sold many of these. They're collar clips, collar pin. You know, they're collar stays, sort of. Um, but yeah, I will pick them up for next to nothing. One time I got a bag of three of them for 10 cents. I sell them for $20 a piece. Ta -da! So that's 20 bucks. That almost pays for the whole thing right there. Um, does anyone know if Sopata jewelry is marked? I think it is. You have so many pieces that will sell for more, far more than you pay. Yes, I really did score Vicky. Thank you. Um, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Okay, then there's another watch that was in there, and it is, again, I don't know a ton about watches. This is Belova Accutron, and I, I don't know anything really about it, so I'll have to look it up. All the live long day, right, Angie? <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, moving on to the next little section. There were two of these. This one is marked silver. This one is not marked, but it's definitely tarnished. It's those cuff-like type choker brace necklaces. This one is marked Mexico 925. That's that one. And again, this one is not marked at all. And then this is a silver bracelet. It's broken, but I know it's so good. I decided to go garage selling today. So this one's broken. I don't, it, would, it takes like a pin or something to fix it. So this one might end up in like a, um in my scrap bag unfortunately 925 italy is what it says i mean it's got a really cool clasp and everything i don't know how to, i guess i could take it somewhere to see about getting repaired but would it be worth it do you think i mean it takes like a little pin or something to go in there i don't know so it's broken and then we have another silver bracelet i didn't check the little these bits in between are gold, like kind of barrel shaped. And I don't know if they're gold gold or if they're just, yeah, I don't know. Probably not worth to get it fixed, yeah. Um, again, I didn't check this one if it's silver or not. I think it, I, every, yeah, it's marked down there, let's see. Yeah, it's marked sterling. But then again, we know just because it's marked doesn't mean it's real, so. Okay, it's not magnetic. So I had a garage announcement today in one of the Facebook groups. I'm in Canada, so it's, it's, so, it's the first so far after winter. Yay! Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay, the next up. We're doing good. Uh-oh, a piece fell off of this. This, I, they just kept buckle pieces. I guess because he knew, like, the pieces were silver, so he kept them. 
So this belt buckle and the slide and the tip, and they're all marked. That one is, what does it say? It says Jerry Warito, Sterling, Jerry Warito, W-E-R-I-T-O. Is that a known belt buckle maker or Western wear person? Jerry Warito? I'll have to look that up. Please say yes. <laughs> um, and then they saved this, again, from another, there was not the buckle part. There's another belt buckle. There was a belt buckle in here. I wonder if it goes to this. I'll set this to the side. Hang on. And then I have another neck bracelet. I, I can't believe I, when Randy and I started sitting going through all this stuff, I was almost like in hyperventilation mode. I couldn't believe how much good stuff there was. I was just like, okay, I need to step away for a second. Hang on, Randy, because we just kept everything we were pulling out was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. All right, so here's this bracelet. And it is silver, and it is marked Made in Siam. So it is it is an older piece. Siam is now Thailand. And it became Thailand in what? The 40s? Did we, when did it become Thailand? It says, marked A, Sterling, and then Made in Siam. So I've got to find out. Um, that is Ni Nilo, N-I-E-L-L-O. -E there is a Jerry and a Rick. Both of them have stuff that sells well. Okay. Okay. Hi, Angie. So Nilo, is that what this is? You're saying, um, yeah. Okay, so there's that. I think that's what you're saying, Bonnie. So I'll have to find out about that one. And then this ring, when I pulled it out, I was like, what? 1948 for Siam. Thank you. Niello, Niello. Okay, cool. Siam is the old name for Thailand. Could be vintage. Absolutely, yeah. So then I pulled this out, and this is a big man's ring. And I was trying to rub off the tarnish. They're hollering out there. Pretty tarnished up, and I believe that the, I think it's copper on the sides. And some of the, these like leaves, I think they're probably copper. And it's really tarnished. So it's marked ML Sterling in there. And this is silver. It's just like super duper like black tarnished. So that might be one that I, I just lightly clean. Like I don't normally clean up my silver much. But when it's just like straight up black, I just kind of lightly. 1939. 1949 is wrong. Vicky says. Okay. So. Yeah, the, when I, this was the one when I pulled it out, I was like, oh my gosh, Randy, this could be worth a lot of money. We'll see, you know, if we can find out who the maker is, because a lot of times Native American um, jewelry, you know, if it's marked and all that, and Bonnie says it might well be gold. Um, okay, so there's a question, if, is that a diamond in the middle? I used my diamond tester, which I know is not foolproof, but I used what I have um, to test it, and it didn't test positive my and I tested against my diamond which I know is a little diamond in my teeny ring right there and this one so I was like maybe my thing is messed up so this one still popped up diamond and I did this one and it did nothing so gold doesn't tarnish okay but this has got some tarnish on it do you see down there or is that my imagination I was rubbing it off unless yeah so anyway, I still think it's super duper awesome. It's marked, it's sterling, it's heavy as all get out. It's a man's, that's like a man's ring, you know what I mean? The stone might be white sapphire. You know what, that's something I hadn't thought of. Okay, so I will have to get a little more, um, Carol T says gold does tarnish sometimes. Oh gosh, because here's my deal, like if I was gonna, I'd have to be super careful about testing it because I don't want to mess it up, right? And I'm not going to test on there. And then to scratch it, hmm, okay. So I will see. This one is still, you know, I have to find out some more. Maybe gold can, okay, we'll find out. Here we go. I can't tell. <laughs> Bonnie says, I can't tell from here. Send it to me and I'll take a closer look at it. <laughs> okay. No, <laughs> So I'll, I'll have to um, find out a little bit more, but that could be, that could actually be the winner of the, of the group. 
Okay, next up, and we're still going. <laughs> and again, this was all in the 25 bucks. Hang on, I gotta grab my plug. What were the initials again? It was M, what was it, ML? I think it's ML, yeah, ML. ML, and then that's a sterling over there. Okay, now let me get my charger, because <clears throat> my computer's trying to die. There we go, okay. Now next up is a possible cigarette holder. I think it's a cigarette holder. And I think this is hand done. Okay, so there's this, and here's the back of it, like so. Let me show you the inside. You can see all the little pokey marks. I don't know if you can see the light through it. Let me see where my map, my flashlight is again. So all of those little holes are are holes. <laughs> Fancy that. Holes are holes. Can you see all the little holes where the light shines through? So all the little holes through the thing. Um, and uh, there's no marks on this or anything, so I am kind of at a loss about it, what to make of it. Cigarette papers, card holder, you can't put cigarettes in that. So well, my thought was, this would be back in the day before, before they were like store-bought pre-rolled, right? So you would have to like roll your own. But then still, you're right, that's kind of low to like keep the cigarettes in there. Well, maybe, I don't know, you know what I mean? Um, let's see, is it for your business cards? I know, but I, yeah, it's so pretty. There's a bird in there. Um, and again, I can't, like, I guess it's Southwest or Mexican, I'm guessing. There's no marks on it I, that I can find as of yet. So I'll have to give it a closer look over to see. Um, wouldn't, oh, that's true. Wouldn't want holes with tobacco. That's true. That's true. Dee Dee says, I've had Black Hills gold tarnish on me. Okay. Let's see. Business cards. The bottom line is the whole business. I think you're right. I think you're right. Calling cards holder. Because it's definitely old. I mean, I get the feeling that it's... Anyway. And definitely think it's handmade. Dance card holder, possibly. Anyway, super cool. I haven't even begun to look anything up on it. I mean, I just keep looking at it thinking it, it's so, okay, look along the edges and stuff. Like, it's so uneven. It's so, like, I really think this was, like, hand done by somebody. But then at the same time, it kind of blows my mind that it could be hand done because that kind of craftsmanship is just amazing to me. But I guess it's... You know, somebody used to do stuff like this, you know? So I, yeah. Okay. The, we'll have to find out more about that. Um, but wait, there's more. Probably not many that's been made. That's true. Look, I looked it up. Victorian area era, Angie said. I looked it up real quick, Victoria. If you're in the jewelry lovers group, would you, would you drop a link in there so we can take a peek at it? There is that. Looks like a, it's a little glass ring. Okay, we still have two sets. We still have these two sections. I hope you're around for a second. Okay, then there's a bracelet. That's just like a woven something. Could be a calling card holder, Victorian era. People used to leave calling cards when they visited. Yes, yes. Okay, then we've got this tennis racket bottle opener. <laughs> That's cool. And then another, this is a keychain, and inside it opens up. And it's got some toothpicks inside. You can put your toothpicks in there. You can probably put a joint in there, too, if you wanted to. <laughs> Not that I smoke weed. Hi, again. How's it going? What you after? Okay. <laughs> Moving forward, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> okay, next up. <laughs> what are you doing? You now he's like, I'm going to come in here and mess with mom's stuff. You, sir. March. Do I need to count? We're not playing hide and seek in here while mommy's doing a live haul video. I'm gonna rat you out. I am. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna. Yeah, he's gonna get you because I'm gonna tell him you're in here. Oh my gosh. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so we've got some <laughs> earrings <laughs> with the little feathers. Run. <laughs> he's out now. 
Um, <laughs> I didn't uh, see any marks on these. Oh, now the cats are. He didn't close the door all the way. <laughs> this is the craziness that is my house. Welcome to the craziness. Where is my magnet? Okay, here it is. Uh, cinnamon toothpicks. That's right. Okay, so they're not magnetic. They, they might be silver. I'll have to look them over again for a mark. Maybe. We'll see. Um, I guess that's why we're here. Let me look right now. I always, like I say, I always feel rude, like, getting my loop out looking. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, maybe. Again, I don't see any marks on them. I don't. But where it's chipped away, it's, like, super shiny. So, your son is so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till they come in here with the dark guns. <laughs> we have second thoughts. <laughs> Okay, and then another, and then this one, it wasn't marked either, but it's not magnetic. Maybe silver. It, it's kind of old looking, the way the, I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'll have to look at that closer later. There were a couple, he went that way. That way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just as curious as you are when I have my loop out, and she says, oh, thanks. All right, that one's magnetic. <laughs> yes, Nerf Battle. This is, this is my home. Nerf Battle Central. So that one's magnetic. Yes, I would venture to bet no one minds that. <laughs> okay, but wait, there's more. Okay, this one I got at a different garage sale. This one I got at the garage sale where I got the glasses. Like that. I would use concho earrings and you're listening for the oval, oval ones with the fair. That feather. So I got this guy because look how creepy he is. <laughs> that is the weirdest looking bunny. <laughs> He's like creepy weird. Um, yeah, so that's a brooch. But she, that was 50 cents from this other garage sale. You could be a YouTube hit if you get Randy to slink in and drag the kids and cats out. Oh, right, like the BBC. <laughs> that was hilarious. Gosh, I hope he wasn't mad at his wife. <laughs> okay, and then these ones. This is so funny because I have these earrings, but but... Close it, close it, please close it. I have these earrings, but I have them in like silver tone, and they are marked. Um, they're um, Swarovski, like from the Swarovski crystal store. You know, it's like a little swan, like a little swan. I can't show you. Um, so yeah, these are Swarovski. Swarovski, Swarovski. How do you say that? Swarovski, Swarovski. <laughs> I can't say it right. Okay. Easter nightmare, she says. Okay, then these were unusual. There was two of these brooches. And this is fabric in there. So they've got fabric pressed in to a brooch. So those are unusual. Squirt guns, Margaret, have them ready. I have a squirt bottle for the cats. I can always use that for the boys, too. Um, there was only one of this earring. There was only one. And there's more cool stuff. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm saying no, no, no. To the boy, not to you. Swarovski. Swarovski. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then, okay, check out these earrings. These are awesome. Okay. These have got, like, this pharaoh, like King Tut, and these scarabs with these, what I believe to be lapis. Seriously, he's going to make a smoothie. I need to make a smoothie now. <laughs> All right. So I'll have to double check. I, I'm thinking these are going to be um, lapis. Aren't those cool? Like so. Okay. <laughs> Why? Why now? My family is, uh, or so delight. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're like sabotaging me today. <laughs> well, it's cool. Whatever. Moving forward, we have a tie tack with this like Rivoli, blue type Rivoli um, stone in it. It's really pretty. <laughs> he must not know that the door, the kids left the door open in here. Okay, then we have got these little, <laughs> can y'all hear that? I apologize. <laughs> these little teeny earrings, which I really like because they just kind of like hug the earlobe. 
So there's these ones. I couldn't find any marks on them, so they might just be like stainless steel. They might they might be silver, but again, I couldn't find any marks on them. So there's those earrings. And we're getting closer to the end, you guys. If you're like, okay, when is this going to be over already? Then we've got some more cufflinks. They're kind of like barbell type cufflinks, like so. Cufflinks. <laughs> then another tie tack with a like what is that a Spanish galleon and I just realized there was a mark on there a a no <laughs> spiked smoothies a a pewter these cats all right the pure silver box could be Victorian vinegar it says vinaigrette used as early smelling salts okay cool I'll have to look that up <laughs> really? <laughs> Had to give it another go. <laughs> I guess it wasn't smooth enough. <gasps> then we had some more of uh, these earrings, but it, look, it's missing a stone. That's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm turning it around. I'm almost done. We, I don't know. Okay. Then we had some little posts. Some, I don't know if those are silver or not. They're kind of tarnished ished. And a little necklace, which I'll have to check into. Like so. Necklace. Ta -da -da. Oh, okay, that's what that went with. So there's this earring. I need to see the. the there's another one in there, like so. Earring. Okay. I think we're pretty much getting down to the bottom of the barrel here. And these ones like that. Okay. It's their way of saying they miss you. You work too much. Oh, wait, I forgot. This was in there too. This was the belt buckle. And it was like, there was another belt buckle. I know there was. Okay, so again, this was in there as well. Oops, that's upside down. Look. It's like a goat and a spider web. So, well, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if it went with. I don't think it goes with this because this didn't have a belt buckle that was with it. So, what do you make of that? I mean, this looks Nordic to me, but maybe I'm off, right? It it's not. Is there a no mark on this? Wait, no, it's scratched in there. You see, it's scratched in there, right here, kind of scratched. Okay, let's see. It says M. M A R G L Y P H. Marglyph. Marglyph. That sounds like Margaret, kind of. Marglyph, though. Marglyph. Barrier. B E R R I E R. And then the I part is dotted with like a swirly, like so. So I'm going to have to look up that. <laughs> Mar Marglyph. Barrier. Margriff. 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 Barrier. And there's, yeah, cool, right? Anyway, there's that. I'd love to search the whole 100 miles. There's a site for native jewelry marks. I found a bunch of ML marks. Awesome. Okay, cool. Thanks, Rags. Okay, so that was everything. That was everything I got today for about $60. Holy crap, pancake. Seriously? What the? Beep, are you doing, cat? Where did he go? Get that, get that cat. <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> okay, close the door. <laughs> no, you with you on the other side of it. Go. <laughs> now, I want to send, please. <laughs> Sanity. <laughs> he closed it, but he was like on this side. No. <laughs> Here you go, Bonnie. I'll take a picture and put it in the group. <laughs> I'm like, did he take down? Okay, he almost knocked down some of the other stuff. Okay, okay. So yeah, here we go. Do I have worth point? I do not have worth point. I don't. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. I need a bubble bath and a glass of wine. Susan says. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pancake in usual pancake form. <laughs> I would have grabbed that cat too. Um, okay, so thank you so much, you guys. Um, 
let's uh the crowd goes wild <laughs> thanks bobby keeping it real that's for sure um <laughs> you know, i'm laughing you're experiencing murphy's law <laughs> Okay. All right. So thank you so much for coming over and checking out the hall. I will kiss Pancake for you. He's the best. He, he's for sure the best. Um, and, you know, follow, if you're not in the group Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, go um, join because I'll be keeping everybody updated on the things in there. And I'll probably be asking people also like, hey, what is this? Help, help, you know. And um, yeah, it was an amazing call for a day when I wasn't going to go out. Did I see my post on the board for the 100 mile long garage on Oklahoma in May? Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I wish I could come with you. That would be awesome. But I can't. <laughs> but no, I can't. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Now I, I don't know where everything is anymore. But yeah, thanks. Hit the thumbs up, you guys. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, this is what you're in for if you subscribe. Just more of this insanity hopefully better makeup but yeah <laughs> the insanity all right everybody have a great day and i will talk to you guys later and thanks again see you later bye